It's Yobo. Welcome back. Day 174 of life according to Yobo. But this book says life with father and mother. This is my book about my personal caregiving experience. If you go back a couple days, you'll see a video that I shot at my parents' house in the back room of their little raggedy house in Compton. And I saw that little, what, about 120 square foot space where I lived for 12 years and went into that home this week and said, I just cannot believe this is where I live. Well, let me tell you what my husband just did. He pulled up some old photographs from that little back room at my parents' house. And in that back room, there were two folding trays. There was a laptop on one tray and a laptop on another tray. That's where he sat to complete his BS degree. And he sat in a little chair. I mean, a little raggedy chair, because y'all know the old folk don't throw away anything. And then on the bed, there was only one chair. Then on the bed, there was a, a tray table next to the bed, and my laptop was there. And that's where I sat, where I wrote. Let me show you all these books that I wrote right there. Because yesterday, I left y'all with a question that said, Can you worship while you wait? No sooner than I finished, my husband came and showed me those photos. And then I had to ask myself, what do you do while you wait? See, Martha, Mary was worshiping while she was waiting. And in this waiting process, let me show you what I've done. These are the books that I have written. If you go, go back and watch that little cubby hole where I live. But these are the books that I wrote right from that little cubby hole in my parents' house. So part of the waiting process is going to require that you do something. There's two other books that I couldn't find. The Michael Jackson book and uh, the You Just Don't Understand. I love that man. I just had those books. I don't know what I did with them. I left a lot of them in California, but I know I have a couple of them here. But still, what do you do while you wait? Now, I promised y'all I was going to tell you about when I was seven months pregnant. Lord Jesus, forgive me as I begin to tell this story. Forgive me, Lord. All over again. You ever done something so wrong and you go to the Lord and repent? But then every time you think about it, you got to repent again. That's what I do. First of all, I would like to think about this story. But it comes to mind because I'm using this as an example of when I was waiting. See, we don't like to wait. We don't like to wait at the grocery store. We don't like to wait at the DMV. We don't like to wait uh, to see our social worker. We don't like to wait on payday. We don't like to wait. We just don't like to wait. We don't like to wait for a, a scandal to come on next week when we just watch one episode and it's a cliffhanger and we're thinking, wow, I got to wait till next week to see what's going to happen. We just don't like to wait. We don't like to wait. And when somebody is in your car, don't be late picking them up. I say your car because hubby and I had one car. He was supposed to pick me up from work. I was seven months pregnant, off work at five o'clock, got off and he wasn't there, but it was okay. I knew he'd be coming and people leaving like, okay, bye-bye. See you later. Oh, you need a ride? Oh no, my husband's coming. 5.30, I'm still waiting. And this is before cell phones. So, you know, you're looking, looking at your watch. Okay, he's a little bit late. And then when the last person left, you know, so I'm just still waiting. And the longer I wait, waited, the hotter I got. So by the time the last person left, they offered me a ride. See, I, that was about 6 o'clock. I'd been out there an hour. But by then, I couldn't take the ride because I had spent the last 20 to 25 minutes practicing how I was going to cuss him out when he got there. Like, I know y'all saved the sanctified field with the Holy Ghost, but come on, tell the truth. Have you ever been... Well, you know, I know a couple of y'all are saved for real. Because I, I know some people that's really, really saved, okay? So, this ain't you. But the rest of the folks, have you ever been so angry? Have you ever been so upset where you actually practice what you're going to say to cuss somebody out? That's where I was. So, when the last person left, I really should have taken the ride. 
because I had to wait another 30 minutes. But see, I wasn't going to pass up the opportunity to light into him when he got there. Because I knew the longer I waited, the angrier I got. And whoo, whoo, I was, whoo, I was red. Hey, do you hear me? Well, about 6.30 came and here he come rolling up. Like he rolling up there on time. Then it wasn't just that he rolled up. He got two people in the car with him. What? What y'all been, what you been doing with the, what, okay, it was bad enough I had to cuss him out. Now he rolling up in there with his two homeboys. You been with these ne Negroes and they left me down here waiting seven and a half months pregnant. Now I ain't got to cuss you out. I got to cuss all three of y'all out. Ooh, when I got in that car, let me tell y'all. Well, I ain't going to tell y'all what I said. I remember what I said. Man, I cussed them out all the way home. First, I started on him. Then the other two that was in the back seat, I turned around in the back seat, and I cussed them too. Then I turned around, and I'd go back on Frank, and the two in the back, they didn't say nothing. You know, I would have said, hey, Frank, what, what, what? at the next light, I would have like, I'm getting out of here. Man, then we got home. He going to take me home to, and then say he had to go ahead and take them home. I was like, oh, no, you let them get home the best way they can. Go leave me sitting up at work. Woo. What do you do when you're waiting? That's the question. That's what I did when I was waiting on him to pick me up from work. Is that the stuff you do? Do you get upset when you're waiting? Or can you work? See, this is still some work I'm doing. Can you work while you're waiting? Can you worship while you're waiting? life according to Yobo. Watch these videos on YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. Do some work or some worship while you're waiting. Come back tomorrow. See y'all. Oh, Clark Sisters. I knew something was missing. Okay, come back tomorrow for more life according to Yobo. See y'all.